Hi! His animations... Hello. I'm going through a bit of an art block, which sucks, so to get my mind off of things, I'm gonna make tutorials. More tutorials. And so, I present to you my Riggy All add-on for Rigify and Blender. Riggy All? Riggy? I don't know. Now what's the add-on? What is it for, you may ask? Well, envision this. When people want to turn a basic rig, one they built themselves or got off of a website, into an advanced rig, there are few good free options that allow people to do that. And one of those happens to be Rigify, which is a built-in add-on for Blender. However, it just so happens that making a Rigify rig is tedious as can be. Because not only do you have to assign, manually assign, bone groups and layer names, you have to, and if you want to make a tidy rig, you have to manually place bones into different bone layers and give them a custom rigify type. Give them, and give them a rigify type. All of these. How do you know which one to choose for? How do you know which one to choose? You don't. And so I choose... <laughs> I choose for you! Now obviously because this is for rigify, you need to make sure you have the rigify add-on activated. And once you do, we can dive right in. First things first, you need to initialize the rig, which will give it bone groups and layer names. And that's basically the hardest part, I'm gonna be honest. Now how this works is you select a chain of bones and choose what kind of chain those bones are gonna be. Whether it's gonna be an arm, some fingers, legs, a spine, whatever. However, before I do make a chain, I want to point your attention towards this, the fix symmetry function. This is mainly used if the bones don't already end in dot or underscore L or R. If the left or right keyword is somewhere in the middle, Blender is not going to recognize that. Let's say, for example, there are two bones, one being named upper underscore R arm and upper underscore L underscore arm. If you try to enable symmetry, Blender will not recognize that and you'll be screwed unless you want to manually rename bones. So what you'll need to do is enter the symmetry keywords that can be found in a bone's name here. So we'll, we, so we'll do underscore R underscore uh, comma underscore L underscore. And now whenever you generate a bone chain, if those keywords are found in the bone name, they will be replaced and dot L or dot R will be appended to the bone's name. If the bone names already end in underscore or dot L or R, uh, don't worry about that. You can turn fixed symmetry off and go on. So let's start by generating a left arm chain. By the way, if you have more bones than I do here, only select the bones that are necessary. That being the upper arm, the elbow, and the hand. Don't select anything else. So select those bones, and then choose make left arm. Automatically, the bones will connect to the other bones in the chain, and they will be moved to a bone layer and given a rigify type. Now this hand bone is barely visible, but we can worry about that later. Now we can do the right arm. Then we can do the left fingers. You can enable IK fingers, by the way, if you'd like to have if if you'd like to have IK control over the fingers, you can enable that. I won't. So I'll do make left fingers, make right fingers. Now we'll do a uh, leg chain. By the way, in this chain, you need to select the upper leg bone, the knee bone, the ankle bone, and the toe bone. Those are the only bones you should have to select. Anyways, now that I do have them selected, cho I'll choose make left leg, and do the same for the right leg, but choose right leg. Now after you generate the leg chains, two new bones will appear under the feet, and they serve as pivot points for the foot to roll around. So. I'm going to rotate this one by 180 degrees without symmetry and apply it as the rest pose. Now I can move these. So I'm gonna select those two bones and apply selected as rest pose. Now we can move on to the spine, which by the way, the start of the spine change should start at the pelvis bone. 
the one closest to the pelvis. But that bone also has to be the absolute root of the rig, which we can see that it is not. This bone is, so we're gonna delete that. And now this bone is the absolute root of the rig. So now I will select all the other bones in the spine chain and choose make spine. Make sure that the pelvis is the beginning of the spine chain, check, and that the pelvis is the absolute root of the rig. Also check, okay. Next, the neck and bone chain. Select those two bones, the neck and the head, and make it neck and head. Now with all the chains having been formed, we can move on to adjusting the rig and ensuring that the bones are rolled okay and they look okay, I don't know. I'm gonna start off with the hand bone. That's going backwards into the elbow, so I'm gonna go into edit mode, change the transform pivot point to individual individual origins, and now when I scale it, it'll scale... Oh. It'll scale at this point. We can enable symmetry so that the other bone follows. And as for the finger bones, I will also scale these backwards. The other bones should follow, they do. But they also do that, that is really weird. I'm just gonna do... Negative two. At this point, I would also like to mention that the bone chains should rotate the way they were intended on their local x-axis. So if we select all of these and rotate them on the local x-axis, they don't look so good. I mean, some of them do, not really. What I like to do in this case is select a chain of bones, go into edit mode, and bring up the bone roll menu, which in my case is control N. That's only because I use 2.79 bindings. You may use 3.0 bindings, which in that case, I'm pretty sure it's shift plus N. I don't know how to confirm that. Anyways, I like doing local plus X tangent. The first bone is not rolled. So I also like to select this bone and then select the next bone in the chain, opening the bone roll menu and choosing active bone. And now they all look aligned. We can rotate them on the local X axis and that needs to be rolled by 90 degrees, 180 degrees. If I rotate it, ah, good. All the bones in the chain plus X tangent and then this one to that one, copy the, this one's bone roll. Again, select all the bones on the chain plus X tangent, copy the active bone, plus X tangent, copy the active bone, plus X tangent, copy the active bone. So now if I try to roll them all, that looks pretty okay to me. Oh, except for the thumb. Roll by 180, roll by 180, okay. I like to do that on all of the bone chains, except for the spine. The spine's roll has to be set to zero, which if it already isn't, set that to set that to zero. Anyways, uh, bone chain in the arm, local X tangent, copy the active bone. Now if I roll this, oh, okay, maybe copy that one too. Let's see. That looks pretty good. I think we are okay in the arms now. Nice! Uh, now let's work on the legs. Oh, that needs to be brought back out. Okay, select the bones, plus X tangent. That looks okay. Uh, okay, so that needs to be rolled by 180. Very good. And now the head bone. I like to have this one pointing towards the way the face is pointing, so I'm just gonna do that, bring it back a little. The bone roll on this bone, however, needs to be set to 180 degrees. I found that out the hard way. And now the last two we need to work on are the shoulder bones. So I'm just gonna bring the tail end of this bone to the head end of this bone. Selection active. Uh... Okay. Rolling by 90 degrees seems to work. I think that we are ready to generate the rig. But the last thing we need to do is mark any unmodified bonus extras. So we're just gonna tap that and we're done. However, by default, they will all appear as circles when the rig is generated, which you can change. There's tons of different uh, widgets that I like to choose. Anyways, I think that at that point, we are ready to generate the rig. So I'm gonna go to the armature tab and click on generate rig. I'm just gonna move this to the side before I do. Now we have a rig, very nice. If these bones here, which are the master control bones of the fingers, if they aren't all aligned, like how they appear to be on this rig, something that I found out that seemed to help was 
setting the bend rotation axis as X manual, and then copying those to selected. That worked out well for me, but these seem to be in line. So I won't worry about that. You know you'll have your bone roll messed up if you scale these master control bones down and they don't curl inwards. If you scale them down and curl outwards, the bone roll is wrong. But don't be afraid because that just requires a quick fix by selecting all the bones, rolling by 90 twice, and then you can regenerate the rig and the changes will be applied. But everything seems to be okay. So first I'm going to redefine the parent of the mesh, set it to be the new rig. I'm going to target the new rig in the armature tab and I'm going to fix the mesh to make sure that the bones follow. We enable in front, it does indeed follow. Very nice. Oh, the head. <laughs> Let's see if the heels rotate the way they were meant to. More or less. It's not a big deal, I'd say. Now the rig looks pretty good. Stretching, IK, you can change these to FK in the item tab. My favorite thing about these is that you can snap IK to FK and FK to IK. So if you want these IK bones to snap to the FK bones, all you have to do is press IK to FK. And the bones will be here. And we can switch back to IK and yeah, it's pretty cool. We can also bring the FK to the IK very nice. If you're unfamiliar with rotating the, uh, what is it called? Vector poles for the IK bones, you can toggle pole and you can control them like this. Anyways, there seem to be some issues with stretching the arms, namely whatever is happening here. I think I'm just gonna select these two bones and parent them to the tweak bone. Keep offset. Yeah, that looks better. All right, that is how you generate a Rigify rig in a breeze way faster than doing it normally. The last thing that I'd like to mention, and I think this is really stupid, by the way. I don't know if there's a specific reason for this, but every bone that you see here has its own shape, despite others having the same shape. So you'd think that these two share an object as a custom bone shape, but you'd be wrong because they are their own custom bone shapes which is dumb, it's it, it's stupid. So I've made another script, uh, copy that, open the text editor, paste the script, and all you have to do is select the rig and press copy. Um, press ex execute, press the execute button. And now when you copy the rig and paste it into another scene, move this over a bit, you can see that there aren't a lot of bone shapes which is way easier for cleaning stuff up. If we, however, do not execute that script and just copy it as is, I'll show you what happens, is that when you paste it and move over the rig, what the heck? Like that's that's just another rig, but with, with objects. It's really dumb. I hate that it does that. That's why I made the script. Anyways, ah uh, yeah. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you all found this useful because I know I do. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, Mango Wow, Mr. Dr. Feige, Dare King, Tyrelli, Alexi Balian, and Rose Smith. Thanks guys. All right, see you, goodbye.